Hello and welcome to Wooden Duck Gaming, I am your host Rozewik and today I'm bringing you the demo Nailed which is an off-road racing game dedicated to quad bikes and off-road scramblers. The game was developed by Techland but is being published by Deep Silver. Any of uh, you guys out there that are into these types of games probably know who they are. I personally don't, I've never played a game that I remember by either of these two companies. So this is new for me too. The game features an online multiplayer option where you can race with up to 12, what, well, 11 other players, so 12 players in total. Within the online features you will find a leaderboard so you can try and compete against other players to try and become Mr. Pew Pew. And you can also pick up achievements. What those achievements are I don't know but I'm sure it will evolve around fastest laps, most races won and all that kind of uh, malarkey. I don't know if you can hear but in the background is music playing by bands that are actually real life bands rather than just made up music for a game. So you will hear songs in there by the Deftones, Static X and bands like Fear Factory, Hatebreed if I remember correctly. There are four locations within the game and within those four locations there are 12 races altogether I believe so there's possibly three different races for each location so it is roughly in the same respect as WRC World Rally Championship in that you will be doing time checks I assume at some point during there but most of the features in the demo are actually locked. This isn't a PC dedicated game as you can probably guess most of these games aren't they are console port so it is designed to be used with a controller but keyboard isn't that bad in this game you use the arrow keys and you shift and control and WASD to move about and such like that so it's not too bad when it comes to controls uh, let's have a look around at the garage in the garage you'll see that we've got driver selected there's male and female at the moment female is locked there are also different aspects you can get in style. I've got Berserker because I've done one race just to mess about and make sure I've got the settings right but you can activate that and you've got different suits it's uh, all pretty standard stuff and we've got our vehicle in the actual demo you've only got a quad bike but you will be able to unlock other bikes and motorbikes and all this malarkey you get the drill. I will be doing one of the uh, two races that is activated in the demo and it's in the quick event. Time attack is obviously locked out as is custom tournament. So let's go for it. Let's go and have a bit of sawmill. Nice little loading screen here with some picturesque views and a map. And Not sure why you've got a map really because you can't really look at it when you're on the quad bike running, riding around. Or I've, at least I've not seen my character looking at a map while he's riding around. And there's no co-pilot, as it were. And look at all this nice topography we get to see. and Wibbly wobbly man in the background there. And I always like that you get to pan around and have a look at your character from all different angles. As it can get a bit boring after a while to just be looking at his arse, as we are now. There's no control. I've got no control of that guys. Don't shun me, you little git. The uh, controls is that you hold down control to go. That's the go button. And I have no idea what was going on there. Um, but yes, you use a control to go. Then you use the arrow keys to move your character about. Which is quite vital when you're actually doing big jumps. Because what it means is that you can move your character while he's in the air. So if you are going towards a cliff face and you think you can move, you can move your character. I may just uh, show in a second how that works, just so people get to have a look. While we're going around, I'll do it at the next jump, which is coming up now. And I, you'll see an orange bar on my right hand side building up, which is my boost. Which is doing that. It's quite nos. As you can see, I can move my character about quite freely with a bit of adjusting. You are able to push forward and backwards on the arrow keys as well which uh, allows your character 
to lean forward or backwards when he's on a jump which can adjust the way you land because obviously if you're leaning back you are more than likely to smash your face into the floor. Oh no! Uh, I, I'd advise on dodging those. They don't look too good. Not enough boost there. There we go. And we're speeding around. As you can see I'm on a quad bike and the guys in front are on motorbikes. I don't know whether I can shunt them out of the way. Let's have a go. See if I can do that. Nope, not quick enough. They seem a bit quicker to me. Rock! Oh. Boost. Bwop, bwop, bwop. There we go. Got out the way of him. Boost. I don't know whether it actually affects you in the air or not, or whether it just makes your screen go all nice and pretty. Little boost over that. This is quite a short um, race. It's just one lap and you just continue to go around, but it's longer than most of the other. Um, laps in the other races from what I can work out from a bit of a looking around on the web and it's quite fast paced and it can be quite entertaining so if you are looking for a game that you can just turn on have a quick bash around on it do a couple of races and not have to dedicate too much of your life to then I'd certainly advise at least trying the demo out to see if you like it and then possibly purchasing the full version because it can be a bit uh, boring to continuously play the same games all the time and sometimes you just want a game for a nice release and this one manages to do that if you can stay on the track and not blow up. I personally think it's the uh, physics of the game, I believe my racing style is perfectly fine and the actual map is moving as I am driving which I think is completely a cheat from the computer. Look at them cheating. Come here. I'll catch up. Let's see if I can shunt. Shunt. Oh, faster than me. Boom! Oh, crap. Not done with it. And over we go. Oh, face! What a stupid place to put a tree. That needs to be moved. I will make a official complaint. Stupid placement of trees. Right in my way. Do I not realise I'm trying to be serious and have a proper dedicated thought out race no they don't to go through a bit of a slalom on the trees here now Whoop. I'm actually really doing this as a dedication to my uh, friend Parskis he's a completely not a fanatic when it comes to racing games I keep telling him to try other stuff and ex expand his horizons I guess but he just won't have it Every time I go around and see him, he's always on a racing game. I just can't get him off him. So I thought I might as well give it a go. And yes, I like him. However, I can't dedicate my life to them. And there are other games out there. So Farsky, if you watch this, please, please try something else. Watch out for the roof! Oh my, that's just silly. Who put that there? I boosted. They won't give me enough boost. If they'd have given me a bit more boost, they're cheating. They never let me win in this. The amount of times I've actually tried this and <laughs> failed and hit tri bricks and logs and whatever else and bunny rabbits and uh, there's no actual bunny rabbits. And they keep putting scenery in my way. It's very nice scenery at that though. Obviously. What the fuck was he doing? Wanker. He just knocked me off trying to get a winning spot. I was catching up then. I was going to take over and I was going to win and I was going to get all the girls and whatever else comes from what uh fence I think I've been being very ridiculous in this whoa yeah that'll, that'll be me winning I just won that those other people in front they just kind of turned up at the end so if anyone wants to try it out like the look of, likes the look of it then go on uh, Steam I believe you can purchase it and maybe on other sites that I don't know of and you can obviously get it on console if you're a console gamer and just watching this for the rolls. So, until next time, enjoy yourselves. <laughs>